The top story tonight, and what should be the top story in all of Canadian media, but is not, is my friend and yours, Maji Chauhari, a Liberal MP from Richmond Hill, has been named in a video from a foreign source as a asset of the Islamic Republic in Canada. So let's just bring up this video, and it's in Farsi. The interview is done overseas, and it's done with the associate of a former Iranian intelligence officer. So there was an intelligence officer for the Islamic Republic of Iran who defected, left Iran, so he defected from the Islamic regime, was bringing up dirt against him, but then he was assassinated, likely by the Iranians, while he was in Turkey. This is one of his associates sort of talking about some of the things he said, and lo and behold, Canada comes into the fold. So we'll show you this video. So Masood is, the, is, the, is what he's referring to as, as the operative here. Um, and he's talking about the extents of the Revolutionary Guard and their links. So just to you know, the Revolutionary Guard is like the, uh, the SS of Iran. It's their paramilitary ideological force. Masood talked about someone named Majid Johari, as he's saying right now. He's an MP in the Parliament of Canada, right? And... He is from the Liberal Party, shocker, representing Richmond Hill. He says that Johari is in touch with some intelligence officers of Iran and that he even visited representatives Taib and Mojoub Khomeini. Uh, he received financial support from these people. So here we have a claim, uh, and he just got re-elected, they're saying. Here we have a claim from people outside of Canada, a, an associate of an, an assassinated intelligence minister or intelligence operative, defected one, that... A Canadian politician, someone within our government, is a foreign operative. Now, it's not a foreign operative of, let's say, Norway, okay? If someone's on the payroll of Norway, yes, this is, this is a problem, and yes, we have to investigate it, but there's two different levels of, of problem in foreign operations, right? If someone has links to a country that we're actively allied with, that's one thing. There can be conflict of interest, and that is a problem, uh, but that, that, that is, what would I'll say, a political misdemeanor. It is another thing to have foreign connections to a country that is actively your enemies, that is actively in favor of destroying Western civilization, and not just Western civilization, but all civilizations in general, right? Part of the Islamic Republic and the Revolutionary Guard specifically. So the Revolutionary Guard has two main parts. There's an internal part, which sort of acts like the Iranian Mafia. Then there's an external part called the Quds Force. This is like the Iranian CIA. And in their mandate is to sow global chaos, to spread the revolution, right? The Islamic revolution. Basically, their goal is to Islamize the world and institute the Ayatollah as, as the, ca the leader of a global caliphate. And the way they do this, by their own admission, is by setting up cells of resistance, basically financing different terrorist cells across the world. Um, they were involved in the massacres in Bosnia, and Iranian intelligence f officials were helping out with the uh, genocide in Sudan. Um, Hezbollah, a listed terrorist organization, is fully financed and run by the Iranian government. Everyone, the Iranians have technologists, Hezbollah's technologists. Hamas, another terrorist organization, funded by Iran. The uh, civil war in Yemen was kicked off when Houthi rebels were, were financed and, wep and given weapons by the Islamic Republic Revolutionary Guard. Now, all of this, you could say, whatever. In terms of Canada, they have, a, they have killed Canadian citizens before when Justin Trudeau got in and wanted to open up relations with the Iranian people. Full transparency, uh, Justin Trudeau's brother, Sasha Trudeau, used to be on the payroll of the Iranian government making uh, propaganda documentaries for Press TV, which is their English propaganda arm. So the connections run pretty deep here. Now, Justin Trudeau, when he talked about liberalizing relations with the Iranians, what they did is they did kidnap, they actually, they, they killed a Canadian professor, Syed Kofi Semani, and they have kidnapped his wife, and they're still holding him. And this is sort of how the Iranians operate. Like, when you are nice to them, and, and, you, and you Trudeau, oh, yeah, fairies, and whatever his policy is, the Iranians say, oh, that's a sign of weakness. We should kill them and take their, prison, take their people hostage to get more, right? They're, they're, these, are, these are crazy people. The Islamic Republic, the people running Iran, I mean, not the, good on the people, for, the Iranian people for actively rising up against this, but the, the Revolutionary Guard, the ideologues in charge of Iran are crazy MFs who, who, are, who should be done away with, but they're strongly associated with Trudeau and Majid Johari. Now, it is fair to say that this video is not the absolute proof that Maja Johari is a foreign agent. No, 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 okay, I, I, can, I can understand. But this comes in a wider context 
of evidence of Majid Johari. So during all the uprisings I've talked about, Majid Johari has never once supported the people of Iran. Majid Johari has consistently been on the side of the Islamic Republic. And if you remember, I brought this up when we did our video about the Liberal Party in the election, and all the different extremists within the Liberal Party. I talked about Ikra Khalid and her connections to the Muslim Brotherhood and the ISNA. I've talked about um, the Khalistanis within the party. One of them just got promoted. And then I talked about Jahari as, as an asset of the Iranian re regime, or basically ideologically aligned with them. So bring this up. So here is a photo, and you see this on Twitter. Um, so here is Majid Jahari. So you see there's arrows to two people. And the cleric on the, what I believe it's the far left of, of your screen, my far right as I'm looking at it, um, the Canadian Refugee Agency has, has identified that Reza Hosani uh, Nasub, who is the cleric there, uh, runs an organization that promotes ideology in, Iran's ideology in Canada. Now, we just talked about Iran's ideology. Iran's ideology is that the Ayatollah Khomeini should be the ruler of the world and we need a global caliphate and, you know, Islam, like Sharia law. We're talking about Sharia law, a Shia version run by the Ayatollah. So this is the Iran's ideology. And the CRA, so this is the Canadian government, has identified that this man is, runs an organization that promotes Iran's ideology. Here he is at a table with Jahari. So he sat at a table. But Majid Jahari, the cleric's son, works in Majid Jahari's office. So there's a lot of intermingling here. Then let's bring up this article. So here's an article, the same thing, where liberal backbencher has sit-downs with Iranian parliamentarians. So Majid Jahari was meeting with Iranian officials without the permission or knowledge of the federal liberal party. Can't do that. Okay, you can't do that. No, no, no. It's a no, no. So when you take all this different evidence into context, we have him meeting illegally with our enemies in the Iranian government. He is closely associated with people that our government have said export Iran's ideology. He has ties to them through family and through different events. He has never once supported the people of Iran in their protests against the Islamic Republic. He has constantly voted in favor of the Islamic Republic. Not once has he not voted in favor of the Islamist regime. Not once has he condemned them. And now we have a video of someone outside of Canada with no connection to Canada basically saying, my friend who is an intelligence officer, he talked a lot about this guy in Canada called Manjit Johari. And the allegation here is he was meeting with high-ranking Iranian officials and was even funded by them. All of this adds up to a CSIS investigation, an RCMP investigation. But what it really should add up to, what this meets the statute of limitations for, is a story in the CBC, Global News, uh, CTV, right? If this was a conservative who had links to a, you know, a evil government, right? Can you imagine if a conservative person once talked to the Ukraine? What kind of story would that be? Okay, so what, at very least, this should become public knowledge and there should be questions being asked in the media. And the fact that there are no questions being asked about this sort of bombshell revelation, the fact that there is a good pile of what we call circumstantial evidence to point to the fact that Monty Johari is probably an asset of the Islamic Republic. He might be receiving funds from them, he might be receiving direction from them, and more on that, the Islamic Republic is an open enemy of Canada. The Islamic Republic openly funds groups that Canada calls terrorist organizations. The Islamic Republic openly calls for the destruction of Western civilization. And we have evidence that a MP, a re-elected MP, Majid Johari, liberal MP of Richmond Hill, is an Iranian asset. Where was this on Global News? Where was this on CTV? Where was this on, on CBC? Nowhere. It's only here. How, how am I the only... I'm not even a journalist. How am I the only quasi-journalist? I'm wearing a suit, but underneath I'm wearing sweatpants. Don't worry. How, how am I... How, like, I, I, I'm a sarcastic idiot. How am I the only one on top of this? It, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. So please, if you're watching the video, give it a like and a share. Um, reacting to it really helps us, it helps the reach of this video get out. Um, if you want to donate to the Patreon to keep the show going or the PayPal, we really appreciate it because eventually the Islamic Republic Revolutionary Guard is going to burst that door. Actually, probably the Pakistani ISI. They hate us a bit more here, but who knows? Oh, we'll take bets. We'll have a poll up tomorrow. Who will be the ones to first try and assassinate Daniel? Will it be the Islamic Republic Revolutionary Guard or the Pakistani ISI? Who's going to kill me first, the Pakistanis or the Iranians? We don't know. 
But find out next week on Who Killed Your Favorite Internet Commentator. Oh, God. I do not like that game.